What is going on? Welcome to Talent Scout Reacts. My name is Ryan, former Talent Scout Indie Major Labels, current music management agency owner here with another banger. We've got Motionless and White for the first time on the channel. Not the first time I've heard them. I actually love these guys. They're like the perfect combination of like post-grunge and metalcore. They make songs that are, you could call them butt rock, but then they make songs that are like brutally heavy. The last one they came out with was Time Bomb, I believe. I really enjoyed that. They're featuring their guitarists more on the clean vocals and having Chris Motionless do more of the screams and uncleans and whatever so it's interesting i like the cleans but i still think chris offers something in the realm of cleans that he doesn't so i don't know what the decision is as far as the artistic direction they are going vocally but uh i, I like what i heard from time bomb uh they had that creatures x to the grave song that was sick these guys just like really i, I haven't heard a, a bad song from them i will say they had a little preview of this song that was uh rather cringe not like the song itself but they did like the doomsday kind of like broadcast thing and some bands can make it work and uh, i'm sorry i just don't think they can but it's it's okay because their music more than enough makes up for it but i'm i'm really excited to check this out this is cyber hex by motionless and white let's go So we got some apocalypse battle sounds already. Ooh, cool synth. Choo -choo -choo. I'm cringe. They always have really cool visuals. This is like a cyberpunk kind of thing, I guess, title Cyberhex. Okay. Ooh. And the cleans are back. Awesome. Industrial. It's all fitting the theme. Marilyn Manson vibe. Except not canceled. Where are we going here? Bridge? Sucker for samples. I pull the sun from the sky to freeze the future groove. and drift as one through the end. Okay, so they just double time and then back. I like that technique. Keeps you focused. Okay, so cut and paste verse. Again, barely Marilyn Manson esque musically. That was cool. Spit, okay. That was a nice little interlude bridge part. I mean, so far it's your classic Motionless and White song, which is not a bad thing. But it also feels like it's progressing to something. What that is, I don't know yet. We need a breakdown, right? Ooh, I love the synth. Yeah, this is touching all the areas of music that I'm really into, so, so far so good. Do you wanna live? Let's go. Are you willing to die? Hoorah. When heaven falls, I will be your light. Love will survive. In this hell you are my paradise. Let's go. Yes, open it up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's your classic motionless and white, but it's not a bad thing. It's worked for them to this point. It's just going to continue to work. 
I love the progression, how it just started out very melodic and then it gets heavier as the song goes on. Even the chorus is a little heavier. How do we end? Breakdown? Or do we just end with the chorus? What do we think? Alright, picking it up. Yeah, that's how you end a song. Just love that little effect there. Okay. So, like I said a few times, your classic Motionless and White song, there's really nothing new about this or different really, but it's good. That's what they're, they're known for. They do this very well. Do I think it needed to be 4 minutes and 40 seconds long? Probably not. Um, there's a little bit of filler in there, but overall, it's a cool track. I love the vocal, the apocalyptic dystopian vocal samples always get me. The use of synths, they always do a good job with that, but this is... Uh, uh, really like a, a, a homage back to the 90s industrial scene. Uh, like I said, Marilyn Manson vibes in the verse, and I want to be clear, not comparing them to Marilyn Manson for a few reasons, but uh, just, you know, overall it, 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 it fits the mold that we expect from Motionless and White. Obviously the blah in the breakdown is, is a, a lovely addition to what we what we know from Chris and it's it makes just it makes everything so pop so much more. I like how they open up the breakdown the second eight bars. Uh, the chorus is it's really cool because not only the first chorus has like this different pattern between halftime and double time and then halftime again, but then each chorus after that, I think there's three total. Um, if not four, it was hard to tell though towards the end. They get progressively heavier with more unclean vocals, more screams and, and whatnot. So I really liked that uh, direction they went as well. This is a good, they announced their album, uh, coming out this summer, I believe. This is a good first single to release for that album, um, because it, it kind of, like I said, it has everything that you want out of a motionless and white song, and I think that was a good, uh, choice by them. I'm excited to hear another two or three singles, hopefully feature them on this channel. Uh, but overall, I really like the track. Let me know if you liked it as much as I did in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share if you are enjoying the content. And as always, have a nice life.